I'm going to show you how to use Helium 10 to find a profitable product to sell on Amazon. I'm also going to show you the best way to use this tool to make more money when selling on Amazon. This is going to be the most up to date full length tutorial going over all the different tools in the Helium 10 suite of tools. And I'll talk about the pros and the cons of purchasing Helium 10, as well as show you how you can get Helium 10 for free. And this is actually a secret. You don't need to pay for this tool in order to get a lot of the features and benefits of Helium 10. There's a free way to get Helium 10 that I'll be sharing with you later in this video. I've also added timestamps in the description for this tutorial. So if you're looking on how to use a specific tool within Helium 10, check out the description down below. But before I get into that, my name is Travis. I'm a seven figure Amazon seller and I've been selling on Amazon for about eight years now. And on this channel, I talk about how you can make money with Amazon FBA, including sharing all my successes and also all my failures and mistakes that I've made along the way. And I'm going to be talking about the pros and the cons of Helium 10 in just a minute. But if you're looking to get a free Helium 10 account, there is a link down below in the description. Click on that link follow the instructions and you can get a free Helium 10 account. Now the free Helium 10 account does have some limitations that we'll talk about later in this video. So if you do want to unlock all the features of Helium 10, you will have to pay a little bit of money, but I have the hookup with Helium 10. If you're thinking about getting Helium 10, there's a link down below in the description with the discount code. And when you click on that link and use the coupon code, it's the best deal you can find on Helium 10 anywhere. But now let's talk about the different Helium 10 plans and help you decide which plan you should choose and if you should go with a free plan or a paid plan. And with the free plan, you can actually use some of the different tools like Blackbox, Trendster, X-Ray, and a bunch of the keyword research tools as well. And these tools, although they do come with a free plan, a lot of them are locked down or they have limited features. And in order to unlock all the features, you would have to upgrade to a paid plan. Now, something important to know is that the best tool, in my opinion, that comes with Helium 10 is called the Magnet Tool. This is a tool that lets you find out exactly what people are searching for in Amazon. And the thing is, Amazon is just a search engine. People go to Amazon to search for products that they want to buy. And if you can find out exactly what people are searching for in Amazon, you can create that exact product for them. And when they go to Amazon and they search for the product, they're going to find your product, they're going to buy your product, and you're going to make a ton of money. And with the free plan, you do get access to the magnet tool. Now, the problem with the free plan is you only get limited access. You're only allowed to use this tool twice a day, only allowed to do two searches a day. You also can't sort the columns, which makes it a little bit harder to find a product. And I am going to show you later in this video how you can use the magnet tool to find your own product to sell on Amazon. Now, let's quickly look at the different plans here. And remember, if you use the link down below, the prices will actually be cheaper than what you're seeing here on the screen because I have the hookup with Helium 10. I've got that discount code. But the first thing that you can see here is there are three different paid options. There is the starter plan, the platinum plan, and the diamond plan. For most people, I'm going to recommend you go with the platinum plan. Now, again, remember, I'm not biased. I don't care which of these plans that you pick. And here's another secret. You can always sign up for Helium 10 and they have a seven day money back guarantee. So choose the platinum plan or even the diamond plan if you want. Try it out for seven days. And if you find a product within those seven days, just email them and get a hundred percent of your money back. And the reason that I recommend the platinum plan is because it has all these different features, all these different benefits, all the tools that you need to start are pretty much unlocked and you can use them at the full capacity. And for $79, this tool is gonna help you find a product that's gonna make you tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions. I had one student that used this tool and found a product that last year, that one product made them over a million dollars. So I understand that oftentimes when you're starting a business, you don't wanna spend a lot of money. However, this tool is 100% worth it. Now keep in mind, this is a monthly charge, but you don't need to pay for this tool every single month. As soon as you find a product, you can cancel Helium 10. That being said, I will say that once you start selling on Amazon, you may want to re-sign up for this tool because what happens oftentimes is you find a product to sell on Amazon and it takes a few months before you actually launch on Amazon. And there are a ton of tools. We'll be talking about all the tools later in this video with Helium 10 that are gonna help you to make more money when selling on Amazon. Again, you don't need this tool. You don't need any tool. A lot of my students end up starting and selling products on Amazon without ever paying for a tool, but these tools do make it easier to find products and to sell on Amazon. If you are tight on cash, you can always sign up for the starter program 
And with this, you do have access to black box, x-ray, and a bunch of these other tools, but you do have limited access. So pick one of these plans. Again, I recommend the platinum plan. And remember that you have a seven day money back guarantee. So I'd recommend just signing up, trying it out, see if you like the tool. And then if you don't, you can ask for your money back. But now we're gonna go over what all these tools are and I'll show you exactly how to use each one of them. And the first tool that I wanna show you is so powerful. It's so crazy what you can actually do with this tool. It's called the X-Ray tool. And that's a tool within the Chrome extension here, right here. And the way to use this is let's go to a product. For instance, this product right here, we can find out how much any product on Amazon is making. You just click on this tool and you click on X-Ray and it will pull up this window. And we can see that this product right here is making over $400,000 per month. And we can do this with any product on Amazon. Let's find another product just to see how much money this product here. Let's go to the X-Ray tool. And we can see that this product is making over $2.5 million every single month. So this is a really powerful tool because it's gonna tell you how much money any product on Amazon is making. So you can look at your competitors, you can look at similar products, you can get an idea of how much money you can make with different products. But here's the secret, there's actually free ways to find out how much any product on Amazon is making. And one of the ways you can do that is if you scroll down to the best selling rank number, which is down here, we copy that. So this is number three. This is the third best selling product in the entire beauty category. Then we're gonna go into the Jungle Scout sales estimator tool. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the marketplace, which is gonna be the United States in this case, cause I live in the United States. Then we're gonna select the Amazon product category, which was beauty and personal care. And, and the way to know that is it says it right here, beauty and personal care. And then we're gonna say three here because that was the number that was over here. And let's click calculate sales. And we can see that this product selling 155 thousand units per month and when we multiply that up here by the cost of the product which is 17 dollars we can see that this is selling over 2.6 million dollars every single month which is close it's not exactly the same as the x-ray tool but since the jungle scout free sales estimator is free and it's pretty close that's a good way that you can find out how much any product on Amazon is making. Another way that you can do this is by using the 999 technique. If you add 999 of a product into your shopping cart and there is less than that number in inventory, let's say that there's only 800 in inventory, Amazon will correct it and say that, oh, sorry, you can only buy 800 of these. Then if you come back the same time the next day and add 999 of that product in your cart, Amazon might correct you and say, oh, sorry, there's only 750. And you can see that within the last day that 50 of the products have been sold. Now this is a flawed technique. It used to work really well, but the problem is a lot of people have more than a thousand of their products in inventory, in which case you aren't gonna know how much that they're selling between day to day. Also, people could send in shipments and replenish inventory and you won't really know that. So it's worth either using the free Jungle Scout sales estimator tool or the X-Ray tool. But before we get into all of that, let's talk about should you get Helium 10 or should you get one of the many other tools that are out there? And there are a lot of different Amazon FBA product research tools and seller tools and things that will help you when selling on Amazon. But Helium 10 and Jungle Scout are by far the most popular Amazon seller tools. They're the most popular product research tools and these are the only two that I currently recommend. Even though I've had a lot of different companies come to me to recommend their product research tools, I keep going back to either Helium 10 or Jungle Scout. And let's quickly do a pros and cons of Helium 10 versus Jungle Scout. So you can decide before you go any further in this video if Helium 10 is the right tool for you or if you should do Jungle Scout. And to be honest with you, I don't care which one you do. I do have my preference. I do have my favorite tool that I'll reveal to you in just a minute, but both these tools are great. Both these tools are gonna to help you to find a product, help you to sell on Amazon. And so let's quickly go over the pros and the cons of Jungle Scout versus Helium 10. And let's start with the pros of Helium 10. And the biggest pro with Helium 10 is there are way more tools with Helium 10 than there are with Jungle Scout. There's so many different features, so much different functionality with Helium 10 that you just don't get with Jungle Scout. And I'll also say the data seems to be more accurate with Helium 10 than it is with Jungle Scout. You get way more data, you get way more information. So if you're looking to find a product to sell on Amazon, you want a lot of data. You wanna make sure that you're selling the correct product and Helium 10 
does offer you all that data. Helium 10 also has a free plan where Jungle Scout does not have a free plan. So if you're unsure if you want to spend the money, you can test out Helium 10 with the free plan and see if it's worth it for you. Another huge pro with Helium 10 is their magnet tool. And I keep talking about this. We're going to go in depth in this video showing you how to use the magnet tool. Their magnet tool is so much more powerful than Jungle Scout's equivalent keyword research tool. I've done a lot of experiments with Helium 10 versus Jungle Scout, and I get way more information, way more accurate information doing product research with Helium 10 than I do with Jungle Scout. Another pro is that Helium 10 does have that seven day money back guarantee. So you can try it out, see if it's right for you. And if it's not, you can get a refund of 100% of your money. But let's talk about Jungle Scout because even though I just talked about a lot of pros with Helium 10, there are some pros with Jungle Scout. And one of the biggest pros with Jungle Scout is the free sales estimator. And you actually don't need to pay for this tool. I showed you how to use this tool earlier in this video. I think it's really cool that Jungle Scout gives away what I think is their most valuable tool 100% for free. The next pro with Jungle Scout, and one thing that Jungle Scout has that Helium 10 does not have is the supplier database. And this allows you to find a manufacturer, a supplier for any product you wanna sell on Amazon. In fact, what you can do, this is crazy, you can put your competitor's product into this tool and it will tell you who your competitor's manufacturer is, who your competitor's supplier is. And it's kind of complicated how this works. I'll talk about this in another video, but basically they're able to look at the import records and see what products are being imported from where, and they can backtrack and find the manufacturer. So if you're struggling to find a manufacturer, this is the number one reason why I would recommend getting Jungle Scout over Helium 10. And they also have a seven day money back guarantee. So if you wanna try out Jungle Scout risk-free for seven days, go for it. I do have the hookup with Jungle Scout as well. There's a link down below in the description. And to be 100% honest, I am unbiased. I don't care which one of these tools you use, but I prefer Helium 10. I think it's much more powerful. The data is much more accurate. Now, the big con with Helium 10 is it is a little bit more expensive. It's a more premium software. And because of that, you have to pay a more premium price, but it's not that much more expensive than Jungle Scout. And I think you get a lot more with Helium 10 than you do with Jungle Scout. So now that we've established that, let's go over all the tools in depth with Helium 10. And the rest of this video is gonna be a complete Helium 10 tutorial. So I'm gonna assume that you've already signed up using the link down below for Helium 10. And from here, I recommend pulling up Helium 10, logging in and following along so you get a better idea of how to use the tool. But once you sign up for Helium 10 and you log in, this is what it's going to look like. And we can see that there are a ton of tools here. I'm gonna quickly kind of go over what each of these tools are, and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna go in detail for all these. You can also see that there's some other options up here. We're gonna be talking about all this in this video. And the magnet tool was the tool I talked about earlier. This is my favorite Helium 10 tool. This is the thing I use over and over again. It's got so many uses. You can use it to find products. You can use it to optimize your title, your bullet points. You can make it so that your product's gonna be more likely to show up at the top of the search results. A very similar tool is the Cerebro tool. And this does the same thing as the magnet tool, except for it's actually a reverse product lookup, meaning that you put in a product to this tool and Helium 10 will spit out exactly what people are typing into Amazon in order to purchase that product. There's so many uses for this. You can spy on your competitors. You can learn all their secrets. You can figure out what people are searching for in order to buy their product. You can make better products. Uh, there, uh, there's so much here. We're gonna talk in depth about that later in this video. There's also the black box tool, which I talked about earlier, and we're gonna go in depth about later in this video. And with this tool, you put in some different parameters. You tell Amazon what type of product you're looking for. For instance, you can say, I only wanna find products in certain categories. I only wanna find products that have certain review counts. I only wanna sell products that are within a certain price range. This is what Helium 10 it considers their best product research tool. And I'll explain why that is later. This is a super powerful tool. It's not personally my favorite, but it is a great tool for beginners to find products. If you're a beginner, you'll probably use these tools. And as you learn and your business grows, you can really enhance your business and your product listing with these tools here. But I'm gonna go over everything because if you're a beginner, you can learn a lot from all of these. Another tool here is Trendster. And this will help you to find what's trending on Amazon, what's popular, what are people looking for on Amazon? And it'll show you over time what products are being searched for. And so as you come up with a lot of different ideas, you can save those products to your list here. Another thing that's a valuable tool is this misspellinator. Now, this is probably not the most valuable tool, but what it helps you to do is find misspelled keywords 
misspelled things that people are typing into Amazon so that you can target those because your competitors a lot of times aren't going to be targeting those misspelled keywords, which means that you can show up at the top of the search results for commonly misspelled things. I mean, a lot of products, a lot of different words, people don't know how to spell. And so if you take advantage of that, you're going to make a little bit more money. Same thing here. We have my list of keywords. There's Adtomic down here, which is a advertising it basically helps you to advertise on Amazon. It automates a lot of your advertising. There's Amazon attribution for off Amazon advertising analytics. What this means is when you're advertising your products off of Amazon and you want to try to track where your Amazon sales are coming from, this is a very valuable tool. For instance, let's say you're promoting your product on TikTok. You can create a special link so that you know, oh, I had 10 sales yesterday from TikTok. Maybe you're also advertising on YouTube and different platforms. You can try to figure out what's working and what's not working. There's also portals here, which is a landing page builder. So if you've ever gone to a website and they have like an email capture or something like that, that is a landing page. We'll talk about in depth what landing pages are and how to use this tool later in this video as well. And keep in mind, we're talking about how to go over all this in depth later in the video. Again, timestamps in the description down below. But right now we're just doing a quick overview to show you all the different tools here. And Frankenstein is a keyword processor. So let's open up that one. I'll show you what that is. It helps you to, if you put in a bunch of keywords here, it helps you to remove duplicates. It helps you to remove any excess spaces because with Amazon in the back end, you have to put what keywords you're targeting. And you can tell Amazon what keywords, but they don't want you to use duplicates. They don't want you to put commas and things like that. So that helps you to clean it up so that it's ready for the back end of Amazon. Scribbles is a Amazon listing optimizer. You want your listing on Amazon to be as professional and as perfect as possible. This will help you to do it. But another tool here that they recently started was this AI powered listing optimizer. So I haven't messed around with this too much, but it actually might be more powerful than, I'm sure it's more powerful than Scribbles. An index checker, this is gonna make sure to see if your product is indexed in the search engine of Amazon. What that means is, let's say you're selling a product, like we recently launched Carnivore Electrolytes. And if someone types in Carnivore Electrolytes in Amazon, and our product isn't showing up, we can use this to see, hey, is it not showing up? Is it not indexed properly? Uh, and which means that if it's not indexed properly, there's things that you can do to fix it so that your product will show up in the Amazon listings. Listing Analyzer does exactly what it says. It's going to analyze your listing, see if it's good, see where there's room for improvement. It'll check to make sure that you have enough photos, that you have the correct bullet points that you're using your listing as well as you can. There's also audience, which is market feedback. And this is a tool I haven't used too much. We're gonna look in depth about this. Consumer research to help you know what sells before you sell it. So you can create polls. Polls start at $50 for 50 uh, detailed responses. So we'll talk about this later and why this is valuable. Actually, this is one of those tools. As a new seller, you, you might wanna use this. I, I actually do remember talking about this tool before and why it's valuable. So we'll go in depth about that later in this video. We also have the learning hub. And they have an Amazon PPC Academy. They have an academy down here to master their software. They have Amazon seller training, as well as exit ticket, which will help you to exit your business so you can grow your business and sell it. And, and Helium 10 does have a lot of really good training material. Now, I'm a little bit biased. I think they have almost too much where it can be a little bit overwhelming. I do have an Amazon FBA program that goes step-by-step -step in detail and shows you from A to Z how to create your own Amazon product it's called the Passion Product Formula. I'll talk more about that later in this video. There is a link down below in the description if you want to learn more about my Amazon FBA program. Over here, we have some of the analytics, Keyword Tracker, Market Tracker, Market Tracker 360, Profits, as well as some operation stuff, and uh, Financial Solutions by Alta. We'll talk about what that is, but one of my favorite things here is Refund Genie because Amazon sometimes makes mistakes. They're supposed to give you money that they never give you. And this tool will make sure that you're actually getting the money that you deserve. Because what happens is when you send products into the Amazon warehouse, for instance, sometimes they break products. They tell you, but if you don't follow up with them, sometimes they won't give you the money that you deserve. Also, when people refund items, sometimes they refund items that aren't resellable or that aren't actually under the warranty. And sometimes Amazon will dock you for that. But if you follow up with them and say, hey, hey, I should still get the money from this. They, they will give you the money back. So Refund Genie is going to help you there. There's also the follow-up email automation tool. Very helpful for beginner sellers, as well as inventory management, which helps you with supply chain logistics. This is more for big sellers. And the first tool I'm going to show you how to use is this magnet tool. 
And then from there, I'm gonna show you how to use the Helium 10 Chrome extension because it has a lot of different features. Uh, and after that, we're gonna go through all the other tools in depth. Like I said, this is a complete tutorial. This is probably gonna be one of the most powerful videos you can watch on Helium 10 because it's long, but it's still condensed. And if you haven't yet, make sure to smash that like button because this video took me a long time to research for, to get ready for, and I hope you enjoy it. So let's show you how to use the magnet tool. And this tool is gonna to help you to find a product to sell on Amazon. Because again, remember, Amazon is just a search engine. People go to Amazon to search for things they wanna buy. And if we can figure out what people are searching for, we can make products for them. And the way that this tool works is you gotta start with a keyword. You gotta start with something that you think people might type into Amazon or something that you might be interested in to sell on Amazon. And for me, I always recommend selling a passion product. Sell a product that you're passionate about, that you're excited about. It's gonna make the entire process so much easier. And pretty much every morning, I wake up and I drink a cup of tea. If you're a fan of this channel, you know that one of the products that I launched, I actually partnered with a student and we launched the highest caffeine tea in the world, Rocket Tea. Uh, and what happened is Willem, who was a student in my Amazon FBA program, again, link down below to that, he joined the program. He didn't really know what to sell, but I saw that he was a smart individual. I saw that he was hardworking and I wanted to partner with him on a product. And that's something I do. When people join my Amazon FBA program, oftentimes I'll partner with them on products so that we can both have success together. I get to teach them what to do and they go do the work and we make a ton of money together. Now, something he was passionate about was having more energy. And I realized that a lot of people were searching for high caffeine tea, highest caffeine tea. And actually, let me show you how I knew that. If you type in here, high caffeine tea, I don't know if I'm spelling that right. We're gonna find out in a second. High caffeine tea, let's get the keywords here. We can see that 94 people per month are searching for high caffeine tea. But the reason this number is so low is because I actually spelled caffeine wrong. And that's why there's another tool I'm gonna show you that helps you to catch common misspellings and allows you to capitalize on this. So let's actually spell caffeine correctly and let's see how many times per month people are searching for this keyword. So we can see when we spell it correctly, over 4,000 people per month are searching for high caffeine tea. For instance, people are searching for high caffeine tea bags or we have things like high caffeine tea, H-I, high caffeine tea, loose leaf. We can see there's a lot of different things that people are searching for that are related to high caffeine tea. One thing I've seen before is highest caffeine tea most caffeine tea, but I saw this opportunity that we could make a lot of money by selling high caffeine tea, or really, it's actually the highest caffeine tea in the world. And so I partnered with Willem on this, and in his first year, he did over $60,000 in sales. And the reason I hesitated a little bit earlier about, oh, he's a hard worker, and I, I love Willem, I think he is a really smart, hardworking guy, uh, but he's also smart enough to realize that he has a passive income business. He launched this product and he hasn't done any work on it in the last year, which isn't ideal. In a partner, you want someone that's gonna be really working hard, but he's actually enjoying his time. He's living in Thailand. He's only working a couple hours a week, making thousands of dollars every month, enough money to pay all of his bills. So that's one of the things about Amazon FBA is that it is passive income. And if you find a product that works, you don't actually need to do a lot of work to keep that product running if you find the right product. Now, when I say passive income, I wanna be clear that it's gonna take some hard work up front. You're gonna, it's gonna take some energy and effort for you actually to start your Amazon business. But once it's up and running, Amazon's doing a lot of the work. And 43% of all third-party Amazon sellers, that's people like you and me selling our products on Amazon, make over $100,000 every single year. And the reason I keep saying this is passive income is because Amazon has over 310 million customers, over 2.4 billion page visits every single month. That means 2.4 billion people coming to their website every single month looking to buy products. And if you list your product on Amazon, you're getting a bunch of people coming to buy your product, plus Amazon's handling all the fulfillment for you if you do the FBA program. FBA stands for Fulfilled by Amazon. This is where you send the products that you wanna sell into the Amazon warehouse. And when someone goes to amazon.com, buys your product, Amazon will pick, pack, and ship that product out to your customer. Meaning that once you've launched your Amazon business, it's a machine that you can remove yourself from and you're gonna keep getting sales, even if you're just laying on a beach in Thailand. Obviously, if you wanna make more money, you can spend your free time instead of laying on a beach in Thailand. You can spend your free time growing your business and making more and more money, doing marketing and doing other things that I talk about in depth in other videos on my channel. So let me show you how I found a new product that I'm probably gonna be launching in the next few months. And that product, I started with the keyword of T and I clicked get keywords. And we can see that over 67,000 people per month 
are searching for tea. But we're not just gonna sell generic tea. We wanna find a specific type of tea, like high caffeine tea. That's a niche, that's something unique, that's something that people are searching for. And the way to use this tool, and there's actually a lot to this tool, it's a very powerful tool. The first thing I like to do is I like to go down here and click on this magnet IQ score because this is a score of how good of an opportunity Helium 10 thinks different keywords are. And one of the first things that comes up is Telsia. I don't know what this is. And I actually think this is just a misspelling. This might be Tesla. People are searching for Tesla on Amazon. I'm not sure. So we're not gonna make that product. The next one is for a tea box, but you see this actually is a brand name, I believe, Sagonizer Tea Box. And when we go and look up this product, there's a lot of different tea boxes. I don't know, you know, there's not really a way to make this a unique thing. What we're looking for right now is we're looking for something that when we search for it on Amazon, when we go to Amazon and search, for instance, plummy Earl Grey, if, if there's no product that's plummy Earl Grey, then we want to create that product. We want to sell it on Amazon. So we're going to go down this entire list and look one by one at every single search that people are making and see if we can find a product that we would actually like to sell on Amazon. So we'll go down this entire list. Let me show you one product that I found, which was Berberine tea. And we can see that this is being searched over a thousand times per month. It's got a magnet IQ score of over 2000, but here's the key. When we go to Amazon and we search for Berberine tea, nothing really exists. There's Berberine in capsule form, there's berberine in powder form. There's lots of berberine, but there's no berberine tea. So if we made a berberine tea product, there would be over a thousand people per month searching exactly for berberine tea. Plus on top of that, there's people that are just searching for things like berberine, which has a search volume of over 300,000. And some of those people that are searching for berberine would rather have berberine tea than having just the powder or the capsules. So this is a huge opportunity that we found using this tool. And let me show you how big of an opportunity this is. And I'm gonna show you the Helium 10 extension right here. So let's go up here and let's find one of the best-selling products, this product right here. And as I mentioned earlier, you can go to an individual product and you can click on the X-ray tool and you can see how much money that product, this product's making over $100,000 every single month. And it's just some berberine supplement. So you can do that. But another thing that you can do that I didn't mention is you can actually go to the search results and use this x-ray tool and you can see how much money every single product on the search results page is making. Let's go down the list here. This one's making 30,000, 120,000. This one is making over $400,000 per month, 100,000. Let's look at the one that's making over $400,000 per month. And there's a lot of other data that this x-ray tool gives you other than just the amount of revenue that it's making every single month. It tells you what the ASIN number is and ASIN stands for Amazon Standard Identification Number. Every product on Amazon gets an ASIN and it's kind of like a special code that identifies the product. And this is a very important thing to know. We'll talk about why this is important and how it can be useful later. We're gonna use the ASIN actually to look at our competitors and figure out exactly what people are searching for in order to find their product. We can also see the price and we can see the graph of sales. So we can see if there's some kind of seasonality. And let's go all time here. And we can see that this is generally trending upwards, which is amazing. If we're gonna be selling a product like berberine tea, we wanna find a product that's trending upwards. And it seems like this is the perfect type of thing. We can also look at the best selling rank number, which actually dropped recently, which is interesting, especially considering sales kept going up. So that I don't know why that's the case. And we can look at the review count. We can see that it's a pretty upward, steady uh, trajectory right there. And we can see the current BSR number, which is over a thousand, as well as what kind of fees this product has. And this fee, this product is around eight dollars in Amazon fees. So that includes the Amazon selling fee and the Amazon FBA pick and pack fee. I talk about fees in depth and other vi videos on this channel, but when selling on Amazon, there's a 15% Amazon selling fee for any product you're selling on Amazon, as well as a FBA pick and pack fee. That's the fee every time someone orders a product from Amazon, Amazon has to pick, pack and ship it out. That covers the shipping and handling, all that stuff. We can see how many active sellers, there's only one. And we can see the rating, 4.4 star rating, 7,000 reviews. And one thing I wanna make very clear here is, this product has 7,000 reviews. That's a lot of reviews. We don't wanna compete directly with this product. We don't wanna do another uh, third party tested berberine ultra high purity capsules. So this is 90 veggie capsules. We don't wanna just copy their product. We wanna make something different because some people don't want capsules. Some people want 
tea. So we're gonna make them a, we're gonna make a tea product for them. Some other things that you can get with this tool is it shows you the dimensions, shows you whether it's fulfilled by FBA or FBM. And FBM stands for fulfilled by merchant. This is a way for you to sell on Amazon where you don't have to use the FBA. I don't recommend FBM because with fulfilled by merchant, you have to ship out the products yourself. If your product, however, is FBA, that means that your product is gonna be prime eligible. We can see that this is a prime eligible product, which means that as a prime member, which I, I am, I can get this product within two days. We also have the dimensions here. So if you wanna know what the size is, we've got that as well as the weight and when it was created. So this was actually created in 2019. That was almost five years ago. And that just lets you know how long this product's been around, how long they've been growing. And sometimes it's good to know that because if you see products that are new on the market that have a ton of sales and they're not doing a good job with branding or they're not doing a good job with their Amazon listing, you can go in, you can copy their product, make a better listing, make better branding and make a lot more money than them. So that's some of the things that you need to know about with this tool. We also have X-ray keywords and let's take a look at this. And this will let you know which keywords are generating the most sales for this product. And we can see that Berberine, which is being searched according to this over 200,000 times, and around 17,000 people per month are actually making a purchase of Berberine by searching Berberine. There's 2,000 competing products. So there's a lot of competing Berberine products out there. That's why we're not trying to make just another Berberine product. We're trying to make something special here. We can also see people are searching for Berberine supplement. And about 10,000 sales per month are happening from that. Over 100,000 people are searching that. Same thing, a lot of competition. So you can see like there's a lot of different things that people are searching for in order to buy this product. And what this tells us is which keywords we should even be going after. The next tool is just called the ASIN Grabber. And I'll show you what that is in just a second. Profitability Calculator. Here's the price. Here is the unit manufacturing cost. They're guessing that it's gonna cost around $5 per unit to make this. You can put in whatever numbers you know. If you know better, if you know that you're gonna sell a similar product, but it's only gonna cost you $4, you can put that in here and then it'll tell you the Amazon FBA fee, which is a little less than $4, as well as it'll show you what the net profit is down here. And we can see it depends on the time of year. You get a little bit more profit in January to September. October through December, Amazon raises their fees a little bit. It doesn't make that big of a difference. I mean, it's only, it's like two cents difference. But we can see that this product's probably making about $12 profit. It also gives you the percentage of margin and the ROI per unit. That's pretty good. I mean, for a product that costs $25, they're making $12, they're making close to 50% margins right there. Another tool that we're gonna take a look at is inventory levels. And for this one, they have the max quantity set, meaning that they don't allow people to buy more than five or 10 or something like that. So we actually don't know what their inventory levels are. That tool doesn't always work, uh, but it's something interesting. Review Insight. This allows you to look at some of the different reviews, and filter the reviews. So like maybe we wanna look at reviews that are only the one star ratings. So we'd uncheck that and we'd hit apply filters and we can look at the one star ratings. And now why this is so powerful is when you're looking to sell a product on Amazon, you should look at your competitors and look at what people are complaining about. So not for those with sensitivities. So whatever, there's some things that people are sensitive to with this supplement. So if you made a different supplement, that was you know, gluten-free, had all the allergies covered so that everyone would be fine. I don't know exactly what this person's, and they said that they have bloating and cramping, some kind of issue there. So maybe there's a market there. I'm not saying that there is. Um, a bunch of people just complaining about the quality. So maybe you really focus more on the quality because they're 97% pure. What if you were 99% pure? Could you be a more pure product? Again, I don't wanna compete with this product. This is a giant company. This is a giant, they're making a ton of money every single month. This, I wouldn't try to do a direct competitor to them, but you know, and they got good branding too. They made a very like premium look and branding feel here. But let's actually go back and let's look again at the Magnum tool because we barely scratched the surface of what is available here. And as I talked about the, the Magnet IQ score, very powerful metric to look at when reviewing products. But we also see keyword sales, how many sales per month this different keyword is. So Berberine supplement, 18,000 sales per month. We have the search volume and we can see this over time. So let's take a look over all time. And you can see in the last few years, Berberine really shot up back in like June of 2023. And now it's kind of stabilized. It's right around here. Um, so it's not actually trending upwards. We would have, we'd like a product that's a little bit more trending upwards, but that's still an interesting insight. Search volume trend, it is up 1% according to this. 
suggested PPC bid. So this is how much money you'd have to spend in order to get to the top of the search results for people searching for berberine tea. And it's around $1.94 per click. And PPC, for those that don't know, stands for pay per click. You'd have to pay $1.94 every time someone clicks on your ad. So let me show you what that looks like here. These are these paid ads. This is all PPC. So I'm not gonna do it because it's kind of mean, but if I clicked right here, click, that would cost this company probably around $2 just for me to click. Now, most people aren't doing that unless they're actually interested in buying the product. So this is usually money well spent, but uh, that lets you know how much your PPC suggested bid's gonna be. You can also see how many sponsored products there are. So how many people are paying to be sponsored for that keyword. And for Berberine Supplement, there's over 300 people that are competing for that. That means that's very competitive. I would avoid you know, just making a Berberine Supplement. There's also this CPR number, and this is the estimated number of units you would have to sell of your product in order to get to the top of the search results. So basically, within an eight day period, if you sold around 500 units, you'd end up being the best seller. Uh, so that's a that's an interesting metric. You can see the higher this number is, the more competitive that category is. There's also match type, and basically this means that uh, berberine supplement is a it, it has a badge for Amazon recommended. It also has a badge. It's organic. It's got organic search as well as smart complete. And autocomplete is when we type in berberine, supplement comes up right away. So if we actually typed in berberine all the way space, it supplement shows up as one of the top 10 things that people are likely to autocomplete. And, and the way this works is because we typed in berberine here. So this tool went into Amazon, typed in berberine space and saw that the autocomplete was actually berberine supplement. That's why you can see that uh, we have the S here for smart complete. It's one of the top smart completes options. And last up is title density. And this number is actually wrong oftentimes but it's the number of page one products with the search keyword in their title. So if we go into Amazon, we can see that a lot of these probably have berberine supplement in the title. Berberine supplements right there. So you can see that it says berberine supplements. That's what this number is saying. It's saying there's 19 products that actually have the words berberine supplement in the title. And the lower that number is, the, the better that uh, product is to sell. So let's, for instance, if we look at T, and we look at berberine tea, there's zero people that actually have berberine tea in the title. Actually, this is probably the most powerful part of using this tool is you wanna find products that have high search volume, but close as possible to zero title density because that means there's no one really competing with you. And uh, one thing to keep in mind is you can actually set filters. So let's say we wanted to have a magnet IQ score of at least a thousand, so berberine tea has 2,000. We wanna have at least a magnet IQ score of a thousand, so we'd put minimum 1,000. We want a search volume minimum of 500, I would say. We want a word count of at least two, and word count is how many words are here, so berberine tea. And there's something called long tail versus short tail keywords. Short tail keywords would be like the word berberine. Berberine, because it's short, there's not a lot of words to it, it's getting a lot of search volume. It's gonna be hard to compete with a single word search. There's so much competition out there. But if you can get something like Berberine Tea or Berberine Tea Organic, that starts to be something that you can actually compete with. Um, so we want a word count minimum of two. Competing products, uh, we'll, we'll come back to this because actually what I care more about is title density. I'd say a max, let's put a max of 20. And some other things to keep in mind is we can filter out for phrases containing things like T. I'll get rid of that for now. Exclude any phrases. So if we don't wanna sell something that has uh, the phrase, I don't know, red in it, we could put red in here. Search volume trend, we can see if it's going upward or downward. Suggested PPC bid, we probably wanna put something that is max, maybe $1.50 or so. Um, I mean, it really depends here, but let's change this up and let's instead just put T in general. Let's click get keywords. Let's go back in here and, and put some of our filters. So we have a thousand, we have a search volume minimum of 500. We have a title density max of 10. We have a word count of two. And let's click apply filters and let's see if we find any products live right here. I'm doing I, Valerian root tea. So it's got, wow, that's a lot. I mean, let's see if this is a product. 
Okay, Valerian root tea. There is one product here. There, there's a couple. There's, yeah, there's a few. So, all right, I wouldn't sell this product because there are a few products here that are already selling Valerian root tea. Uh, let's see, the Crystal Light is a brand name. We don't want to sell brand names. But you see here, if Valerian root, if we went to Amazon and there was no competing products, that would be a winner. So let's organize this by Magna IQ score. And look, there's over 241 filtered keywords. So one of those is probably a good product idea. The next tool we're gonna to talk about is the black box tool. And this is a great way to find a product. It's actually, as I mentioned, not my favorite way. The magnet tool and Cerebro are my favorite ways. And I'll be talking about Cerebro in a little bit. But for a lot of beginners, this is a good way to really get some insights on what's doing well on Amazon. And let me show you in depth how this tool works because it has a lot of different things that you can change and manipulate and it'll basically spit out exactly what products are making money on Amazon. And so what you can do is you can select what categories and subcategories you want this tool to show you products for. So for instance, I'll do one quick example and then we'll go back through that. Let's say that you wanted to sell something in the grocery and gourmet category. This is food. So we're gonna say that we wanna sell some kind of a food item. And the reason I do like selling food items is because it's consumable, which means people eat it and they need to buy it again and again and again. So when you get a customer, you're likely going to get another customer again in that person, you're gonna get another purchase. So here is some of the data. So if I just hit enter right now, it would show me all the products in grocery and gourmet, and we don't want that. There's certain types of products we wanna sell and certain types of products we don't wanna sell. Now. Let me give you an overview of what types of products you should be selling on Amazon. And I think you should never sell a product on Amazon that is under $15. And the reason you don't wanna sell a product that's under $15 is because there's not enough profit in it. When you sell a product on Amazon, you have to pay for the Amazon FBA pick and pack fee. And that's usually gonna cost you around four or $5. Now it depends on the size of the product, but you also don't wanna sell a product that's over $85. And the reason you don't wanna sell a product that's over $85 is because that's not an impulse buy. If a product's more than $85, people are usually going to need to do some research. Uh, they're not likely just to buy it and not really care. Oftentimes, products that are in between $15 and $85, that's the sweet spot. Now, one of my students, Brent, who it was selling a product called Sear Pro that was $99, you know, he didn't listen to my advice. He didn't, he, he said, hey, that's great, but I think I got an amazing product here. And I told him, yeah, I think under your circumstances, it does make sense to sell a product that's over $85. He did over a million dollars in sales last year alone. He's done over $2 million in total sales. And Brent has an amazing story. If you haven't seen his story on my channel, I'll put a link to it down below. But he has a job as a first responder helicopter pilot. Plus, he has a family of four. He's a father of two beautiful kids. And so in his spare time, he was able to create a passive income business that's made him hundreds of thousands of dollars in profit, millions, millions of dollars in revenue. So generally speaking, we want to sell products that are between 15 and $85. So let me show you really quickly what this would look like. So right now, we don't have a lot of criteria and we're gonna fill out all this other information, but let's just take a look so you give an idea of what's going on. So now at this point, this tool is gonna show us every single product that's priced between 15 and $85. But we have all kinds of review ratings. We have a three and a half star. We have a three star. We have a four and a half. Now, the next thing when using this tool, now this tool can be used for a lot of different use cases, but if you're specifically using it to find a product, we wanna find a product that has a lot of sales, but doesn't have a lot of competition. And the way to do that is we can tell this tool we don't want it to show any product that has a review of over three stars. And at the same time, we want to show it to show products that have a revenue of a minimum of $10,000 per month. So now what this tool is going to do is it's going to find products that are making $10,000, even though they're not great products. And what we can do is we can take those products and make them better. Now we probably also want to this max weight. We want to sell products that are under one pound. Once it's over one pound, the Amazon FBA fees start uh, adding up. We can also do shipping size. We can say medium, we don't want even medium. Let's say small or small standard size, maybe even large standard size just for now. Fulfillment, we could, we could have it show only products that are FBM. And just in case I haven't mentioned it yet, FBM stands for fulfilled by merchant. This is where people are selling their products and they're shipping them out themselves 
versus FBA, which stands for fulfilled by Amazon. Those are prime eligible products. So this actually could be a really good opportunity. We could select just FBM. Let's do it. Let's have some fun and we can find out what products are being sold non-prime. And then what we could do is we could improve the product. We could sell it prime and we'll make a ton of money. Let's see if there's even any products like this. And then I'll, I'll go over all the other information here. And we can see there's a ton. This, there's Lasso in Instant Tea Watermelon Flavor. And let's take a look at this product right here. One thing you can do, wow, it's got a two and a half star rating, only 32 reviews, and it's doing over $10,000 in sales every single month. So I don't know, we could do some research. Maybe we could come up with our own watermelon tea. We could look at watermelon tea. You can see that there is some watermelon, but it's mostly like black tea. So whatever this thing is, this might be a really cool product. It's a dietary supplement. And you can narrow it down further and further what kind of products you're looking to sell. So another thing is number of images. We could say that we, we only want this tool to show products that have max three images. Because if the product's getting $10,000 in sales per month and it has three images or less, that means the listing isn't optimized. That means the seller's not an amazing seller. They're not doing a a great job. They're not the smartest seller out there. And we could come in with all the knowledge that we have and we can make a lot more money. There's a bunch of exact brand search and you can always hover over this little eye to learn more about it. Like I don't use this exact seller search. I don't really care about that. We could exclude certain brands. Like if there's certain brands that you know you don't want to show products for, we can put that in there. A bunch of other information here, but basically that's how you use the black box tool. Now let me show you one of my favorite tools and that is the Cerebro tool. And this is a reverse ASIN lookup. And that sounds really fancy. It's not. Let me show you what it is. So for instance, let's say we wanted to sell an electrolyte product, which is a product that I just recently launched. We could look at this product here, Liquid IV. Let's click on it. And we could get the ASIN. And to do that, if you scroll down to the bottom, there's this number here. Now, every product on Amazon has an ASIN. It's an Amazon standard identification number, I believe is what it stands for. I'll put the real thing on the screen right here. Uh, but basically every product has its own unique ASIN number. And what this tool allows you to do is figure out why people are buying that product. What are they searching for to buy that product? And what we can do is we can make a better product for that specific keyword phrase. And this is exactly what I did with carnivore electrolytes. I saw that people were searching for carnivore electrolytes and they were buying things like liquid IV. And I thought to myself, well, why don't I make a product that's perfect for people searching for carnivore electrolytes? So what I like to do is come down here and go by Cerebro, Cerebro IQ score. And this will let you know how big of an opportunity Helium 10 thinks different keywords are. Now, a lot of times you're gonna get brand names like LMNT electrolytes. We don't wanna compete for a brand name. That's not what we're looking for. Santa Cruz Paleo Ultima, Flav City, Zin, yeah, like a lot of these are Celsius Powder Pack, Zip Fizz, Liquid Death, FSA eligible items. So we could go through here and we're gonna look for a good opportunity. And it takes a little bit of while. What you're doing here is you're panning for gold a little bit. But we can also see something interesting enough. We can see how many sales the different keywords are getting. So we know that uh, EBT eligible items. Now this is something that, not a lot of people are optimizing for what I think, here's an opportunity no one's talking about. So look at, there are 7,000 sales per month, people searching for EBT eligible items. You can make a pack of products that's called EBT eligible items. And it's just a bunch of different EBT eligible items. Or, you know, <laughs> I don't know, this is a crazy idea, but just some outside the box thinking is you could even create a brand that's called EBT and like it just be really good, healthy snacks that are targeted towards people that have, see this is like Snap EBT eligible, that, that are on the EBT program. And maybe what you even do is you give back some money to some kind of a charity. You create products that are specifically targeted towards the demographic of EBT people. And it could be called like EBT benefit or like basically the whole idea is you're supporting that community. And then people that have EBT money to spend could buy your products. The next tool that we're gonna talk about here is Trendster. And Trendster is going to show you different keywords or different ASINs and show you their trend over time. So let's say electrolytes. And this will show us trends over time 
on how the products are doing and what the sales rank is for. So for instance, for this specific keyword over the last 90 days, we can see that the sale rank has fluctuated. We can see the price has changed a little bit. My list of products. So one thing you're doing as you're going through black box, you can actually save product ideas and they would be here. And I'd have a list of the products. That way I could sort them, I could download them as a CSV. This is actually really helpful, especially if you're using the black box tool. Now there's something similar with keywords. Bathrobe curls, yeah, lemongrass tea was something that I was thinking about selling for a little while. And so I was collecting a bunch of different keywords there. Organic tea bags, blood pressure tea organic. And so this is a tool to help you figure out like which, uh, or collect all the different keywords that you're going after. Another tool that I mentioned briefly earlier was the misspellinator. So let's say I was selling, well, I am selling electrolytes. So I could go electrolytes. And that's something that I misspell all the time. Now the next tip is you'd click on it and you'd find misspellings. So let's see what we, so it's gonna do up here. It's trying all the different misspellings. So we'll, we'll take a second and see what misspellings come up. So actually electrolytes didn't really have any misspellings, but I put in nut butter, which was uh, one of the original products I was selling. And you can see that it says, all right, a lot of people put two T's, a lot of people put one T for butter. They forget to use. There's like all these different misspellings and you can use this in your backend keyword tools. Uh, but for now, let's go on to the next tool here and I'll do some quick overview of some of the next things. So Adtomic is a very advanced tool, it's something I won't talk about here. Uh, it's something that in, if you're a beginner Amazon seller, you're not going to use, but it helps to automate your Amazon PPC. PPC stands for pay per click, very powerful way of marketing your products, but let's not worry about that. Amazon attribution. So what this does is any off Amazon advertising that you're doing, it allows you to track it. And if you guys make sure to hit the like button, if you haven't yet, leave a comment down below. If you want me to go into more details on how to use this, but you can create QR codes. You can create uh, barcode labels, product inserts, you can create all kinds of things and it allows you to track where your sales are coming from, uh, in including here the, the Amazon attribution, which you gotta connect to Amazon. This account that I'm showing you right now isn't connected to Amazon, but it allows you to create links that will track uh, where your sales are coming from. So super powerful tool, highly recommend using this if you're doing any kind of off Amazon marketing to track where your Amazon sales and clicks are coming from. Portals is the other part of this tool that I was showing you. That's where you can create um, landing pages and different things to collect emails uh, to basically get more sales. Again, this is a more advanced feature. Super powerful though, you can even add custom domains. There's different templates they have. So let me show you a template really quick. And again, leave a comment down below if you'd want me to go into more depth about this. But let's look at this one preview right here. So you can see this just shows like a 60% off buy on Amazon. Instead of having to create your own website, you can just create a very quick portal, if you will, a, a quick landing page. Frankenstein, it's a keyword processor. What does that mean? Let me show you. So you can put in all your different keywords here. Let's say I was selling nut butter that is good for keto and paleo and Whole30 supplement, but it's also a keto supplement. And I'm trying to target all these different things what it will do is you can click process and it's gonna remove the duplicates. It's gonna convert it into lowercase. And you can see here, we took this whole big thing and just made it into that. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna collect all the different keywords that you want to add to your Amazon listing, put it in here and it'll condense it down into a very small amount uh, of keywords that you can put into your backend because Amazon doesn't like when you add in brand names. It doesn't like when you add in uh, too many spaces. It basically formats your keywords for you. Again, a more advanced tool, but very helpful. Scribbles is a listing optimizer. It's gonna help you to create your Amazon listing. So with your listing, you're gonna have a title, put your title here, and you're gonna have bullet points. And so you can use this to write everything out uh, and you can have your different keyword phrases here. Like what, what, what keywords are you targeting? You can put them over here and then you can use this tool to create your title and all your different bullet points. There's also the index checker and this will allow you to see if your product is indexed in Amazon. So for instance, let's take, I mean, we, we used this earlier and obviously this one's gonna be indexed, but just to show you how it works. You can see if it's indexed for certain keywords. So electrolytes, is it in there? Yes, 
So it doesn't have a storefront index, which is something that, yeah, that's fine, but it just shows that. But let's say, is this index for nut butter? And no, it's not. It's not showing up for the keyword nut butter, but that's okay because it's not a nut butter related product. So when you launch a new product and you want to see if it's indexed for certain searches, you can come in here and you can paste in, you can do a bunch of different phrases. You can do 200 different phrases and you can see what your product is showing up for in searches. So this one's not showing up for nut butter, but it is showing up for electrolytes. That's fine. If you were selling this product, you'd be happy with that. But we could also do like more specific things like, like electrolyte powder. And we can see it's also indexed for electrolyte powder. So we can go down the list and figure out what searches our product is indexed for. The next tool we're going to go over is the listing analyzer. And so let's, let's try it out again. Let's put enter a main ASIN run analysis. So let's see how good of a listing this product has. So first it has the sales estimation, you know, hundred thousand dollars per day that over the last seven days, it's been over $700,000 in sales. The other thing it's going to do for us is see how good the listing actually is review count over 160,000 reviews listing quality score 9.1. And what we could do is we could put any product in here and we could steal all the information learned from it. There's also this listing AI builder, which I haven't really used in depth yet. Again, leave a comment down below if you guys want me to do an in-depth tutorial about this, but let's take a look. So we have one listing here. We can, we could add more listings if we wanted to. Let's edit it. Let's see what it comes up with. So it has some of the different keywords that we're trying to target over here and it shows the title right here. Uh, keywords to include in the title and we could go through this and it would help us to write our title all our bullet points our description and I think this is actually a really interesting place to start is using the listing builder uh, another thing here is the audience and the audience allows you to get market feedback you can create a poll you can ask questions about your product it's fifty dollars for fifty detailed responses and when you get helium 10 there's also a bunch of different learning sections right here and there's the learning hub there's the Amazon PPC Academy, Exit Ticket, Pro Training, and Academy. These are all things that you can use. Like for instance, Amazon PPC Academy was actually taught by a friend of mine, Mina, and it'll teach you how to use Amazon PPC. There's also the you know Pro Training and the Exit Ticket. So if you're looking to sell your business, this Exit Ticket could be really helpful. But if you are looking just how to sell on Amazon, I do have a link down below to my Amazon FBA program, the Passion Products Formula. And that's a step-by-step -step program. It's very much made for beginners to show you how to create a unique product that you're passionate about and sell it on Amazon. And I'll tell you, I've had a lot of different success stories. Uh, click on the link down below if you want more information for that. But let's keep going over this review and tutorial of Helium 10. Up here we have the keyword tracker. And you can also do this for Amazon. And the keyword tracker allows you to track how well your product is performing for different keywords. So for instance, with uh, cocktail cards, we can see that there's you know 464 competing products. Our sponsored rank is number two, and our organic rank is number one. For all the all the major keywords that we're going after, our organic rank is number one. And we can see over time how well we're doing. And so this is something you could check once a week. Just be like, hey, how am I doing on all my different rankings? Also the market tracker, this is gonna give you competitor intelligence. It's gonna tell you how your competitors are doing. And we set this up for cocktail cards earlier. Let's take a look here. And it shows us down below some of our the different competitors. Cocktail recipe cards, this guy, uh, let's see, 52. Yeah, we can see we have a couple different competitors that have crept in but we're still the dominant player. Our power score is 96. We have the most reviews. We're, we're doing pretty well here. Another tool we're gonna look at is the profits tool, financial analytics dashboard. This will show us how much money and profit we're actually doing for the business. And right now we don't have this properly set up, so it's showing zero for everything, but this is a good way for you to see how much money your business is actually making. Next up is the operation section in Alta by Helium 10. It's financial solutions, if I remember correctly, yeah, this is a way to get like credit line, get money in advance. This is a more advanced feature that a lot of beginners aren't going to have to deal with. But as you start scaling your business, you may need to use features like this. And that's pretty powerful. There's also alerts. And this is for hijacker and product monitoring. Uh, we set this up, but we're not really that worried about it because we're not going to have a lot of people trying to hijack our listing. But if you are selling products where people might hijack your listing, this is a very powerful tool. Inventory protector, it, this will make sure that 
No one's abusing your coupons if you get coupons set up. And as you can see, this is something that we don't use a lot. There, there is an issue. I don't think we set up Helium 10 correctly with a cocktail card, so it's, it's not linked anymore. But let's keep going. Refund Genie will help you to get refunds from Amazon. And yeah, we can see that we've had a lot of different products that have been lost, damaged, and sometimes Amazon doesn't pay you for these. So this Refund Genie will go through and it'll tell you how much money Helium 10 actually owes you. Follow up is an email automation tool. This is a very powerful tool because when people buy your products, you wanna follow up with them. You wanna make sure that they actually leave a review because leaving reviews on Amazon is how you're gonna get more and more sales. You have to connect it to your seller account in order to do this, but the follow up tool is one of those tools where I do think it is worth continuing to pay for Helium 10 month after month. And then inventory management, this is more high end supply chain logistics. If you have lots of products, you're gonna use this tool. So if you're interested in getting Helium 10, I have the hookup. There is a coupon code and a discount link down below. Remember, you can sign up and you can always try it out for seven days. And if you don't love it, you can get your money back. But if you are gonna sign up, use my coupon code, get yourself a discount. Again, link down below with the coupon codes. So click on that link and thank you guys so much for watching.